We are joined by Vincent Hughes, Senate Appropriations Minority Chair. How did you feel about uh, Governor Josh Shapiro's uh, budget address? Uh, it, was, it was excellent, excellent. It is a, a budget address that is bold. It is a budget address that responds to the needs of Pennsylvania's people. It, it meets its, its moment. Uh, and we, we are challenged right now to get to work and get it done. There's no reason why so many initiatives that the governor's introduced can't get passed. It's a balanced budget. It, it is, in fact, a tax reduction. It's tax cut for people here in Pennsylvania. And it addresses, most importantly, the fundamental issue that has been plaguing Pennsylvania for generations. And that is the unconstitutional and inadequate funding of our education system. So the governor proposed uh, the $1.1 billion basic education funding plan. Do you think that will meet the constitutionality that the court has set? It is, it is a reflection of the work done by the Basic Education Funding Commission, uh, almost to the T. Uh, the numbers that we produced out of the Basic Education Funding Commission were robust, were strong, uh, and this number from uh, Governor Rendell essentially reflects that. So it is an important and necessary foundation to get us on the road to constitutionality and to get us to adequacy. There is no justification, no justification at all for students to receive uh, in Pennsylvania $8,200 to $10,000 less per child. Uh, that, that marks unconstitutionality, that marks inadequacy. This budget address is a strong statement to get us towards those goals. Now, the governor uh, called for $100 million to reduce gun violence. Do you think this will be a good step for the state? We've done it uh, already, and it has marked reductions in gun violence across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. In some communities, over 20 percent reductions. We have to keep that effort going on uh, with a serious commitment of state funding uh, and also expand in other spaces as well. We can't forget the uh, uh, job creation uh, is issues that the governor laid out. Well over $600 million of new money to go into job creation. And what that does is, is that inspires communities. It inspires young people to choose a different path when they see all of these new opportunities being created for them.